Hey guys, it's Matthew Woodstock back with another video. Today I'm going to just update you guys how's my anxiety. So since I moved to New York, I definitely have seen a surge in my anxiety. And what anxiety is for me is it's a feeling of uh, worry to like the first degree is first degree the deepest one i think so and you're just <clears throat> anticipating the worst outcome of just regular living so the reason i've been having so much anxiety is because well, I'll show you a clip of what I recorded yesterday, and it's a pretty much live recording of me just like going through it. <sighs> hey guys, it's Matthew, <clears throat> back with another video, and uh. I've been wanting to record a video just talking about how's my anxiety <clears throat> now that I'm just like off of Zoloft completely and just, you know, how's my anxiety in general these days. And um, <clears throat> I was feeling better when I was going to record it. So I was like, you know what, like, forget it. But I'm in one of my little uh, feelings again where it feels like unbearable so I just said you know what, let me just like record it in my current like like mood and how I feel right now so anyways yeah so I'm, I'm completely off of Zoloft and um, life has been very uh, emotional for me and um, you know, at the, at the beginning, like, I was okay with that because I appreciated feeling, you know, like, something. But, um, lately it's just been, like, absolutely ridiculous. And I just, like, like, freaking, I just feel like the littlest shit, like, I just, I feel like I, like, I overreact for little things, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like holding myself back right now from like crying and like really just like being super emotional with you guys but like it's it's like mad annoying and <clears throat> it's not normal you know what I mean and it's because I'm holding myself back you know what I mean it's like I don't know it's it's like I, this is me like trying to take action right into doing something whether it's saying hi to a cute guy um a cute girl um or just saying something in general to somebody you know this is me trying to take action and then this is actually me holding back and not saying shit you know but inside you know like it's you know it's i'm, I'm stressing myself out because I want to do something but I don't and I understand now that it's 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 because of like just like my childhood and just how I was raised and just like 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 years of like trauma like I, I think it all like plays into it because no one is born holding themselves back like you learn that you learn that from like your childhood you know how you were raised and you know belief systems that you grew up on you know trauma and you know re repercussions you know and I, I damn like I've come so far you know what I mean like I've come so far like I'm literally 
in New York City, you know what I mean? I, I made the decision to move here on my own, you know? And like a lot of people, like they wouldn't do that, you know, that's too scary for them. And here I am, you know, like I did it, I made it happen, you know? But it's like, I don't know, it's like I feel like I'm not, like I'm not where I want to be. I don't know if I'm not like seeing like myself in the light that I should. But I just, I just feel like, you know, it's like even though I've, I've, I've accomplished stuff that I feel like most people would be scared to do. I just feel like it's, I just feel like, I don't know, like at the same time, I just feel like, why do I not feel like enough still? Like I, I do this awesome shit, but like, I, I just still just don't feel like, all right, now I can breathe. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just like a constant like struggle of like anxiety. And like I said, it's, it's most of it, you know, I mean like feelings are normal. Like anxiety is a feeling, you know what I mean? It's, it's like normal. Um, I, I feel like I have it more than normal people for sure because of my childhood, you know what I mean? Just being <clears throat> raised in a homophobic family that, is my music playing? Sorry, you guys. Being raised in a, you know, like a anti-gay family and, you know, just hearing you know like the worst things you know you can hear if if you were gay and and then you know growing up black you know and, and growing up that dark skin darker skin you know as a black person that's gay you know what I mean like like my whole like <laughs> like psyche is like it's like seriously fucked up you know what I mean it's it's like it's all that stuff that which is stupid you know like which like makes me feel like i need to hold myself back so yeah i don't know if i'm gonna upload this like i'm probably when i feel like super happy and better i'm gonna like cringe super hard that i uploaded something like this but <clears throat> yeah anyways you know like the anxiety is there for like a, a reason um, I just gotta, it's, it's, it's easier said than done, you know, like I know, you know, why I have it and I know what I have to do to manage it and not let it get out of whack, but it's like feelings, you know, like I, I just don't like the, I'm scared of the feeling, like it's, and it's so funny, it's because, like I'm scared of the feeling, but like I don't take action and it's like I feel 10 times worse, like regardless, you know what I mean, it's, I guess because I'm, I know what to expect from not taking action versus like walking into the unknown. It's just like really crazy. You know, I like, I'm trying to be my, I want to be my most authentic self and I, and I feel like my most authentic self is when I'm by myself, but when I take myself into public, you know? I'm just like, my eye like looks at other people, like, like what do they think? You know, it's so stupid. It's so stupid, you know what I mean? That like we as a society, you know, like are conditioned to like fucking like fear with like what people think and like worry, it's so stupid, it's so stupid. I just want all of us to live a world where we're like, we're all, are authentically ourselves you know it's it's just it's just crazy anyways i feel funny right now so i'm gonna stop this video uh this is literally me being emotional right now um and yeah how are you guys um yeah But I feel better now, so that's good. And 
I just understand that life, you're gonna not all the time feel good. You're gonna have days where you feel amazing and then you're gonna have days where you feel sad and then you're gonna have days where you feel anxious. Though I wanna add to the anxious part, most of the anxiousness really comes from just kind of like, it could steer, stem from like just already feeling irritable and annoyed and tired, but the anxiety comes from just basically holding yourself back. So that's something I'm working on. I'm not saying that I have the worst problem in the world, but I do have some baggage in my psyche that is uh, pretty pretty tough to get through so I'm working on myself the key is to really just not give up some days like I said you're gonna not feel good and and you just gotta have the understanding that that's a part of life and and see it as you gotta have the bad to appreciate the good if you never have bad then good is just like like what is good like you don't really <clears throat> you know what I mean yeah so yeah I'm hanging in there and I'm not gonna go back on medication no no I'm not suppressing my mental baggage that that's what the medication is gonna do it's gonna suppress I, I'm trying to grow not suppress I'm trying to grow not suppress quote me I'm trying to grow not suppress and for anybody that's on medication please don't take offense to that it's just it's just my uh, belief on it and just how I feel about it so yeah have a great day you guys and subscribe and follow me on instagram bye